March passed, on a mass, get ready and start.
Okay, we are going to start with the UAE National Anthem. I request Mr. Ali Haider Tariq to kindly be here. Okay, we are going to start with the UAE National Anthem. After that, we'll be having the Quran recitation. I request everybody to stand for UAE National Anthem. I request all the audience to stand for UAE National Anthem. Thank you very much. Please be seated. I request Mr. Ali Haider to please come forward. So we have Quran recitation by Mr. Ali Haider with an English translation. Mr. Ali Haider. <laughs> بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الرحمن علم القرآن خلق الإنسان علمه البيان الشمس والقمر بحسبان والنجم والشجر يسجدان والسماء رفعها ووضع الميزان ألا تطغوا في الميزان وأقيموا الوزن بالقسط ولا تخسروا الميزان والأرض ودعها للأنام فيها فاكهة والنخل ذات الأكمام والحب ذو العصف والريحان فبأي آلاء ربكما تكذبان خلق الإنسان من صلصال كالفخار وخلق الجن من مارج من نار فبأي آلاء ربكما تكذبان رب المشرقين ورب المغربين فبأي آلاء ربكما تكذبان مرج البحرين يلتقيان 
بينهما برزخ لا يبغيان فبأي آلاء ربكما تكذبان يخرج منهما اللؤلؤ والمرجان فبأي آلاء ربكما تكذبان وله الجوار المنشآت في البحر كالأعلام فبأي آلاء ربكما تكذبان صدق يا مولانا العلي العظيم In the name of Allah, the beneficent, the merciful. Ar-Rahman, the most beneficent, has taught the Quran. He created man. He taught him eloquent speech. The sun and the moon run on their fixed courses, calculated with measured out stages for each. And the herbs and the trees both prostrate. And the heaven he has raised high. And he has set up the balance. In order that you may not transgress balance. And observe the weight with equity and do not make the balance deficient. And the earth he has put for the creatures. Therein are fruits, date palms, producing shattered fruit stalks. And also corn with leaves and stock for fodder and sweet scented plants. Then which of the blessings of your Lord will you both deny? He created man from sounding clay like the clay of pottery. And the jinns did he create from a smokeless flame of fire. Then which of the blessings of your Lord will you both deny? The Lord of the two Easts and the Lord of the two Wests. Then which of the blessings of your Lord will you both deny? He has let loose the two seas meeting together. Between them is a barrier which none of them can transgress. Then which of the blessings of your Lord will you both deny? Out of them both come out pearl and coral. Then which of the blessings of your Lord will you both deny? And his are the ships going and coming in the seas like mountains. Then which of the blessings of your Lord will you both deny? Whosoever is on it will perish. And face of your Lord with full of majesty and honor will abide forever. Then which of the blessings of your Lord will you both deny? God, holy true are the words of Allah. Thank you very much, Mr. Ali Haider. I wish to call the following guests on the stage. I request Dr. Paulson Matthew Chunkapura to kindly accompany the following guests on the stage. We have His Excellency. Dr. Hamdi Hassab Arasul Osman M. Taha, the Consul General of Republic of Sudan in Dubai. I request him to kindly come on the stage. Dr. Paulson to accompany him. We have the Deputy Consul General of Kenyan Consulate General also to come on the stage, please. Mr. Duncan Anindo, kindly come on the stage. I request Dr. Ernest Nolan, the Provost and Vice President of Medona University to kindly come on the stage, please. Dr. Kleeman Murer, the Dean of School of Business, to kindly come on the stage, please. We have Mr. Patrick Faniel, the CEO of University of Business and International Studies, Switzerland, to kindly come on the stage, please. Dr. B.K. Yusuf, the former director of MEFA, Switzerland, to kindly come on the stage, please. Mr. Peter Herdain, the President of Swiss Business Council to kindly come on the stage, please. <laughs> Dr. Bharat Bhutani, the formal, the formal President of the Indian Business and Professional Council, Dubai, to kindly come on the stage, please. <laughs> Mr. Ryan Kaus from the University of Business and International Studies to kindly come on the stage, please. Mr. Devanand Mahadevan, the Director 
from the Sri Lankan Business Council to kindly come on the stage, please. Mr. David Ipe, the career advisor, Indian High School, Dubai, to kindly come on the stage, please. <laughs> Madam Rosie from the Indian High School, Dubai, to kindly come on the stage, please. Mrs. Monica Sones from Rack Bank to kindly come on the stage, please. <laughs> Mrs. Priyanka also to kindly come on the stage, please. We request, we request the following staff members also to come on the stage. Professor Chandru, Professor Lakshmi, Professor Arun, Professor Julie, Professor Sweta, and Professor Swati. Please come on the stage. So we start off with the graduation ceremony 2015. I request all the students to maintain silence. His Excellencies, Dr. Hamdi, His Excellency, Mr. Duncan, Dr. Sister Rosemary Kujava, the President of Madonna University, Dr. Ernest Nolan, Provost and Vice President of Madonna University, and his wife, Mrs. Nolan, Dr. Clement Moore, the Dean of School of Business, Madonna University, and his wife, Mrs. Moeller, Moore, Mr. Patrick Faniel, the CEO of UBIS University, Dr. Paulson Matthew Chunkapura, the President of London American City College, UAE, Professor David Nixon, the principal of the City of London College, UK, Mr. Ryan from UBIS, guests from other universities and colleges, namely Dr. Jubisa, Dr. Cuisine, and other distinguished guests, Mr. Peter Herdine, Mr. Devanan, Dr. Bhutani, Dr. B.K. Yusuf, Mr. Rajesh Pople, Mr. David Ayp, Ms. Dr. Sirajuddin, Madam Tahira, Dr. Edwin, Madam Rosie, Ms. Raki, Mrs. Monica, Mrs. Priyanka, Mr. Latif Mulki, Mr. Emi Mulu, Dr. Vinod, and other distinguished guests from higher secondary schools and institutions, industries, academicians, faculty members, parents, and dear students. On behalf of London American City College, I, Dr. Kaup Mohammed, the Dean and Director of London American City College and its sister institutions in the UAE, take this opportunity to welcome you all, our distinguished guests, academicians, university officials, college officials, industrialists, representatives of professional associations, faculty, parents, and my dear students and graduates, of the, at the 12th graduation ceremony and the cultural festival of the Middle East region. Let me take this opportunity to congratulate all our graduates. A big round of applause to all our graduates, all our students who are getting their qualifications today. Our graduates exhibit exceptionally good level of skills from intelligent desire to learn, have self-confidence, accept new challenges, have good leadership qualities, high energy level, and are able to do the job and accept new training. More than 70% of our students have achieved distinction and honors title in their concerned program of study with several of them receiving their excellent certificates and honors and medals. Our students are well-placed in industries which includes multinational firms, 
airlines, banks, consultancy organization, etc. Professor Dr. Paulson and his learned professors and staff members have been appreciated by the university for their great contribution to quality education. Even though it is very hard and difficult and recession time, it is important for all our graduates to remember that business is still going on. Opportunities do exist and all the graduating students should modify their plans to accommodate drastic changes taking place in the life and in the job market. It requires new ways of thinking. Think broadly, act globally, do your research, be productive, get help, and always remember, my dear students, stay positive. Let me take this opportunity to congratulate all the president and the deans of our universities and colleges, our faculty members and staff members for their hard work and dedication in managing the dissemination of knowledge to the students. We would also like to congratulate the parents who have sacrificed their life and money for supporting their wards at this difficult juncture. The qualification that a student is holding at this point of time signifies quality of education and excellence and ready to meet the challenges of the industry. We are also thankful to our distinguished chief guests, the special guests, the guests of honors, the press officials for witnessing this ceremony. We are also thankful to the rulers of the United Arab Emirates and the Middle East countries for their continuous support. A special thanks and congratulations note has been given by the university and the college officials. I am also thankful to all the students, participants, our staff, officials of the hotels, and our brothers, sisters, and friends for supporting this event. Last but not the least, I am also thankful that Mrs. Nolan and Mrs. Moorer are witnessing this particular ceremony, and we are really, really grateful that they have accompanied their husbands to visit Dubai. Give